it's time for a grocery update. Well, since Nashville has a Costco and I haven't been able to go to Costco in quite some time, I'm getting loaded up today. What did I get for $249? I think I got that much. Look at this. It just always adds up. Does that happen to anybody else? This is not the most ginormous bag of broccoli you've ever seen. Um, I'm not really sure where it's gonna fit in my RV refrigerator, but I assure you that my son, who is a broccoli fiend, will help me take care of this so that it will fit. I mean, the kid, the kid loves broccoli, which I never ate broccoli when I was a kid, so I'm very happy that he likes broccoli so much. But I do have to buy it in huge quantities now. So I don't know if many of you guys have Costco memberships. We had one in Colorado when we lived in Colorado and I would go twice a month and I would buy huge amounts of groceries and stock them in our massive refrigerator, our spare deep freeze, and our spare closet where we kept all of our pantry items. Since I do not have that on the RV, we didn't have a membership for the first two years on the road. We just rejoined this year in 2020 back in I think March or April. And so today I'm gonna to talk about where in the world do you put all your things from Costco in a tiny RV? Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't know if you can see, my car is messy. Um, so I don't have just a Costco run. I also have an Aldi run and all of our goodies for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so my car is pretty packed full of food right now. I'm not really sure where it's gonna fit, but I kind of figured it was time for an update on the grocery haul situation for a family of five living full-time on the road. We're two and a half years into our journey, so we have a little bit of, I don't know, practice. This is, this is the mess. Not mess. This is the- We haven't had cereal for two whole weeks! Two weeks! I'm heading outside right now so I can show you our outdoor kitchen, but also we have this container, which looks really gross right now because my kids, they like to make mud pies on the lid. I don't know. Anyways, that is for non-perishable items or extra toilet paper, paper towels, whatever, those kinds of things that aren't that are packaged and are not gonna get moldy. This is my mini fridge. It's, oh, that's embarrassing. Why is it, it's like scratched on there. It's not dirt, it's just, it's like scratched. Whew, I got a lot of work to do. Let's start with the basics. Here's a few tips for organizing your groceries in your small space in the RV. Purchase items based on what can fit in your space. Shop a week at a time. Find bins and storage containers that fit your space, whether it's your refrigerator or your pantry. Label everything. Store your non-perishable items out in a bin, either outside in your car or underneath your RV. Get rid of the original packaging. Clean out your spaces often. There's simply no room for spoiled food. This is not your sticks and bricks refrigerator. Eggs are tricky for us because we go through a lot. I mean, a lot of eggs. My children, actually all of us, really enjoy eating hard boiled eggs. They're a great snack. They're full of protein. They don't have hardly any carbs in them. I can have like three cartons of eggs at a time and that's about it, but this won't last us. I'll have to go back to the store at some point during the week to get more. I just don't have space to store them. You know what I need? I need someone local who has chickens. Then I could just store my eggs on the counter. I miss my chickens. Here's where Tetris begins. Okay. This is my freezer, but I have a lot to put in there. Be honest, how many of you have a secret stash of chocolate chips in your freezer? <gasps> chocolate chips? No, they're mine. They're not for you. They're sugar-free. Like your whipped cream wasn't for us, but we ate it and consumed it, like usual. Wait, what chips? They're lilies. Mm, they're disgusting. They? They're so gross. What are they? They're so gross. 
we still use our cereal boxes. These have lasted us the entire time so far. Um, still the best way to store cereal or any of our little salty snacks. We try to put everything in a airtight container so that we don't ever get critters. And two and a half years, knock on wood, we've never had any kind of critters in our pantry whatsoever. I feel like I need to knock again. Oh, so close. Oh. It's starting to get cooler again, which you know what season that is. It's hot chocolate season. Yeah, I kind of have. Actually, I don't drink oh. it much, but my kids love it. Jasmine rice is my favorite. Um, I buy this from Aldi because it's the perfect size to fit in my little Rubbermaid container here. You can run into your own body. Just these, like these are fantastic. Not this particular brand per se, but this kind of container because they fit perfectly in the door. Snacks go out in our snack box. I do buy a lot of pre-packaged snacks. And to be honest, right now it's just the most convenient thing. I know it's not the most environmentally friendly, but it's the easiest thing for us to do right now. So we have a snack box that we keep our snacks in and that keeps them out of here so I can store other things. <laughs> Space saving tip, buy powdered bone broth instead of the large containers of bone broth. Uh, we, cook, we cook fairly often. I always have bone broth on hand. This is much larger than the little tiny packet and oftentimes we'll have potatoes or onions in the bottom or avocado in the bottom here, but I didn't get those at all this time for some reason. So my bottom was empty and it doesn't look as pretty, but it does fit cans of vegetables really well. So these are green beans and one can of cream and mushroom soup because I'm having green bean casserole on Thanksgiving, even if I am the one that eats the whole pan because no one else likes it. Brief word on Thanksgiving this year. I'm almost too embarrassed to tell you. But I'm going to share it because some of you out there need to hear that sometimes it's okay to just do the easy thing, okay? Because Thanksgiving is not about the food itself, it's about who you're spending it with and the memories that you're making and the tradi traditions that you do. And yes, sometimes making special dishes, maybe that's your love language and you really enjoy cooking and making food for others, which I normally do, but right now in my life, right now I need something easy. So what are we doing for Thanksgiving? We are cooking up these guys. <laughs> They're turkey breasts from Costco. I'm gonna make turkey and uh, probably instant mashed potatoes. Don't murder me. And stuffing and green bean casserole and I'm keeping it all super easy. I might make homemade rolls. I'm probably gonna make homemade rolls. If you are feeling like making a turkey in your RV oven, it is totally possible. We made a 10 pound turkey in our RV oven. You can check out that episode up here. It was entirely off grid. We had no power and we made a full spread. Can we just talk about some of my Costco favorites for a second? This is the turkey that I buy from Costco. Uh, we love this turkey. The thing that I do with it though is to take it out of this container. I'll use this container for something else and just take the packages of turkey out for the fridge. Another Costco favorite find, especially for keto, is this um, fully cooked chicken breast bites because they're very easy to just break apart and have single servings for myself or for John to take to work. Actually, I'm not actually sure he's ever done that, but he should. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of excited about this find. It's avocado oil spray. We love avocado oil. I use it to cook basically everything, even popcorn, because it doesn't really have a taste and it's far better for you than some of the other oils out there. And it has a 500 degree point uh, smoke point, which means it's not gonna smoke up as much. And Lord knows I need help not smoking up our rig. A couple other Costco finds, especially if you're low carbing or keto, this, these are Country Archer mini beef sticks. These are fantastic. They have zero carbs in them, no sugar, five grams of protein. I love these. Wisps, I buy wisps at Costco. And uh, I have bought almonds before. I could buy them there because we eat enough of them, but I didn't this time. I bought them at Aldi instead because I like these because they're very salty. <laughs> 
Okay, I know there's a whole lot more than that probably, but this is just what we like right now, especially since we're low carbing. But I'm curious, what are your favorite Costco finds? Put them in the comments below. And speaking of Costco, has anyone started to see these kinds of signs on the outside of the buildings yet? Can you believe that we're going through the same thing that happened in March? This is nuts. This is the extent of my hoarding. That's our spare toilet paper, because we were caught without toilet paper last time. And I'm not letting that happen again. Look, the broccoli fit, you guys. I mean, it's like shoved in there, but it fit. Totally shoved in there. All right, for anything that we have left over that won't fit inside, I shove out here in our outdoor kitchen. Now you can see there's not a lot of room, so it's really there's really no like perfect method. I mean, you just shove it in there, however it fits. Okay, on a more serious note, I did want to address what we're doing for the holiday season, given the COVID climate out there right now. As you know, my husband's an ICU nurse. He is working with COVID patients firsthand, and he's being very careful not to bring it home to us. And so far, none of us have gotten sick. We are a little concerned about taking it back to our family. And for Thanksgiving, it is a non-issue because we won't be home for Thanksgiving. John's actually working Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. What we've decided to do instead is make a Thanksgiving meal on Sunday and celebrate the first day of Advent. We wanted to give a little disclaimer because some of the stuff that you're going to see in the coming episodes are things that we have already done here in Nashville. We are going to spend the last couple of weeks just basically hunkering down so that we are not out and about as these COVID cases are spiking so we're not taking it back to our family when we get to Kansas City. From our family to yours, happy Thanksgiving. Well, I guess that's it. We'll see you out there. Oh, no, for real, for real, WrestleMania. <laughs> It's real life, so it's okay. Apparently we're learning Japanese. That's pretty cool. Konnichiwa!